Hi, I'm Jason. This is the Panner to Print channel. And today I have an episode about an entry that I have for the uh, Simplify 3D uh, version 4 contest that they had. So I'm currently a finalist and they're going to start voting next week as of the time that I'm recording this video, which is September 9th. And so this is the model that I have um, entered and I wanted to sort of talk about my sort of design process in a way and how I kind of got to even thinking about, you know, modeling something like this. And it started something fairly far away and it started from um, something I modeled a few years ago. And this is what I have, it's called a, a pop-out basket and it's based on a scroll saw uh, woodworking idea that, and I used to do scroll sawing so a lot of my ideas kind of come from that. And that is, is that you have a flat piece of wood and here I have a flat piece of plastic and you kind of would, if this were a piece of wood, you'd have your blade kind of cut at a slight angle. And so what that allows is that when you are done cutting, you can pop it out and it turns into a basket. So you have something with a lot of height out of something that was kind of not very thick at all. So what I did is that, okay, well, I thought this was a neat concept, but it's actually kind of harder to do when you model it, because then you have to, instead of just putting a blade in and adjusting the angle, you have to kind of come up with math. And uh, it took me quite a bit of research and learning what an Archimedes spiral is and all that kind of fun stuff. But I was finally able to do the math and I was able to model it. And so, um, so I have this up on Thingiverse. I have it for quite a while now. And so it was pretty neat that you can kind of have a little basket, you know, uh, so you print it flat and then you can pop it out. Um, so after I had designed this, and I can't really remember since it's been about a year and a half ago now, um, I was thinking like, oh, well, there's other things I could use spirals too. And one of the things I remembered was when I was a kid, you'd have these paper, what, I, what we call sort of Chinese yo-yos, but I'm sure that's probably not a, a correct term anymore. But it's not like a wax paper yo-yos. It'd be a piece of paper that was spun around uh, a little wooden dowel, and then you could kind of flip it back and forth and kind of snap out and snap back in. So I thought, okay, well, if I 3D printed one, that would be great because the wax ones tended to, um, you know, after about five minutes, they either tore or they unraveled, and, you know, they weren't very durable. So if I 3D print one, then, you know, that'd be a lot more durable. And I didn't have any idea how hard it was actually to be to design one that worked. So at first I thought, okay, I'll make it kind of, you know, big. And this was sadly my, my first version. And you can see that it's, it's huge. And uh, this would probably, you know, flew out of your hand, would probably kill somebody. Um, and I think I had the distance between the rings okay, but even at this, it's only two layers thick in the spiral. So each spiral had a, a had a, a, you know, an inside and an outside. And clearly this wasn't, wasn't going to do. So then I had to go to a single, the spiral had to be just a single, a single pass. And for, at that time, uh, Simplify 3D, the version 3, it wouldn't do it at all. So I was kind of using um, Idea Maker. And I got, I did got fairly, uh, some progress, and I got something like this. And it kind of works, but it just didn't snap out very far and wouldn't snap back very well. And so I called it okay, well, you know, good enough to say I, I did something, but um, not, wasn't really truly happy with it. So when Simplify 3D version 4.0 came out, they had all this stuff with um, thin extrusions, uh, thin lines. And so not only could they do a single wall, but they could even adjust it. So even if you had like a four, like a 0.4 nozzle, um, 0.4 nozzle uh, millimeter nozzle, that you could, you know, kind of print details even thinner than that. And I'm not really sure how that works, but I gave it a whirl. And um, my next tryout, I mean, it was just incredible. I was just shocked at how well it came out. And this is exactly what I was imagining. I mean, it's like it goes right past the camera. It's so, uh, it goes so far, I don't know how many feet it goes. Um, so then this is exactly what I was looking for. And I'm finally, finally really, really happy with it. Um, so anyways, um, if the contest is still open, I'll have a link below, and I would really love people's support. Um, I think it's a pretty cool model, and it's something I've been working on for a year and a half, and I would love for it to, to get one of the, the top three places. Um, and if you have any questions about it, of course, leave uh, any comments below. Um, if you want to make sure you don't miss any of my content, please subscribe. And um, thanks for stopping by, and have fun printing.